In this video, I'm going to talk about the difference between health span and lifespan, which one, in my opinion, matters the most, and what can we do to optimize them. What if I tell you that many of the things are, you are doing today may be shortening your life? For example, it is well known that bodybuilders that abuse using steroids might feel stronger now, but they are in fact shortening their life. The way I see it is that there's no time to waste. Even if you're in your early 20s or 30s, there are a lot of things you can start doing today to extend your health span and your lifespan. This is the difference between living long enough to see your grandkids or your great grandkids born and not being able to live long enough to meet them, or maybe you live long enough, but you are just so fragile and weak that you cannot do anything with them, and you become a problem and you burden to your loved ones. My name is Andres Carbonell, and I'm a PhD student in cell and cancer biology. My goal is to help you to optimize your health and performance in different aspects of your life. Lifespan is the total duration of existence, regardless of the state of our body. Most medical interventions have focused on adding a few more years at a high cost. On the other hand, healthspan is the time we spend in good health, free from chronic illnesses and disabilities. It is about the quality of our life during those years and the vitality and strength which we can live every day. Think about it. What do you really prefer? Do you want to live up to 100 years, but you spend most of your time laying on bed and just watching television? Or you want to be maybe 100 and you're chasing your great grandkids around the house? It is not our goal to only live longer, but to be able to live such wonderful experiences. Extending your health span involves lifestyle changes to keep our body and mind strong. Whereas extending lifespan can definitely benefit from all these lifestyle changes, it usually involves medical interventions which their only goal is to prolong survival of individuals regardless of the quality of life. Let's first talk about lifespan and longevity. In the book Outlive from Peter Atia, he talks that if you're lucky not to experience a fast death, for example, from an accident or an infection, we are most likely to die from a slow death. He identified what are the four major causes of slow deaths that most people experience. He referred to them as the four horsemen of chronic illnesses. These are cardiovascular diseases, such as heart attacks, neurodegenerative disorders, such as Alzheimer, cancer, which can encompass any type of tumor or malignancy, and lastly, metabolic disorders, such as diabetes. If you're interested in how to avoid or slow down the progression of any of these diseases, Please subscribe to this channel because I'm going to do a four part series where I go very deep into the scientific literature and see what has been recommended in all of these chronic illnesses. We can stop death, but maybe we can slow it down. On the other hand, Peter Atia described the three components of health span. The first one is cognitive, such as your memory and your computive capacity. The second one is physical. The question is, do you want to be able to run a marathon when you are 70 years old? The last one is emotional. Have you built strong family and friendship foundations to still feel loved and respected? In my opinion, I'm gonna add a fourth one. And this one is financial. It's not only about having a strong body and a strong family ties to live longer, but also to be financially independent, so you are not a burden to your family and to your loved ones. As it's the goal of this channel to optimize our life and extend our health span, I'm always posting videos in all of these four categories. Maybe not so much on finances, but in all the other three, I do a lot of them. So please subscribe if you're interested. And this is it, ladies and gentlemen, 
This is the difference between the health span and lifespan. I hope you like it. Please let me know in the comments what are you doing to extend your lifespan or health span and just your general opinion. And if you're interested to learn how people, for example, like Brian Johnson are injecting themselves with experimental genetic therapies to extend his, his lifespan, please watch this video.